What is going on YouTube and welcome to another video and today I want to show you guys how to clean and polish your stainless steel or chrome exhaust tips. I haven't gotten the chance to do this on my car for a few months now and you can see it is already beginning to get really gunked up. The problem is if you have stainless steel tips you'll easily begin to see a bunch of carbon buildup and things from the exhaust begin to deposit on the tips here and it just leaves it looking really brown and dirty and it just doesn't look great. So I'm going to show you guys how to remove some of this carbon buildup uh, as well as to be able to polish the tips up and make it look a little bit more presentable. So the first step is we're going to give the exhaust tips a quick wash down with either a general purpose cleaner or in my case I'm going to use some waterless wash and wax because that's all I have laying around. I'm going to use a microfiber towel as well. Um, the whole idea here is we want to try and remove as much of the loose hydrocarbons and dirt and things that are built up on the exhaust tip just from some of the unburnt fuels and stuff that are deposited on there. Um, especially if you're running with like a turbocharged car or something like that, you're going to be running pretty rich. So you're going to have a lot of dirt and soot built up on here. So we want to get as much of that removed before we move on to some more abrasive compounds and techniques. So what I'm going to do is just spray a little bit of this uh, wash and wax or general purpose cleaner, whatever you happen to have. And we're just going to give the exhaust tips a really nice scrub down. Just try and get as much of that dirt and stuff off of there as possible. So just finished washing it down with the wash and wax and as you can see most of that carbon buildup is still on there and that's because most soaps or general purpose cleaners aren't going to be able to dissolve the carbon buildup that's sitting on the tips. The only way to really get this removed is we have to use something that's a little bit more abrasive. And for that I'm going to be using this fine grade steel wool, it's quadruple zero. You can pick this up at most hardware stores. Um, a lot of people have issues with using steel wool on their tips because they're worried about getting micro scratches and things onto the finish. I have been using steel wool for some time now and I haven't had any issues with that. The key is you want to make sure your tips are made out of stainless steel. If they are, you can use your traditional steel wool, but if you have like a chrome tip, it's going to be a little bit softer, more prone to scratching, and for those you might want to consider picking up a brass wool, which is going to be a slightly softer metal and you'll be less likely to scratch it. Um, if you still are opposed to using steel wool, there are some different uh, solvents and things that I think chemical guys make that can really help get some of this off and then you can just use a microfiber towel and a little bit of elbow grease. Um, but instead I'm just going to be pairing it with some chrome wheel cleaner. Um, you can use this or you can even use just regular soap and water. The key here is the steel wool is going to help us really get some of that stuff off. So we've got the exhaust tip mostly cleaned up now. All of that carbon buildup is pretty much gone. The last thing I want to do is try and give it a little bit of a shinier finish by applying some polish to it. So for that I'm going to try some of this Never Dull Wadding Compound which you can buy at most auto parts stores for like five or ten bucks. Um, basically what you end up getting inside of here is you're going to get a bunch of uh, wadding with that polish compound kind of laced into it. Um, it is a skin irritant so you'll notice that I am wearing gloves at the moment to be able to handle it. And we're going to just go and wipe down the inside of the exhaust tip to lay down some of the compound. And then we're going to end up buffing it out. So for that you can either use a microfiber towel or I've gone a bit overboard and bought one of these mother's uh, power cones uh, which I've attached to my drill. This will allow me to buff out the inside of that tip really nicely and hopefully give it a nice shiny finish. And that pretty much covers the procedure for cleaning and polishing off the exhaust tips. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the result, although I might go with a different polishing compound next time just to try and get a better finish. But still, it is much better than before I had cleaned it. Um, by the way, the axle back portion of this exhaust is for sale. That includes the mufflers and the tips. I will be upgrading to Fast Intentions 10-inch mufflers to try and get a little more ground clearance and a little more volume out of the exhaust. 
So if you're interested in picking up the axleback portion of my Fast Intentions exhaust, you can hit me up on Instagram. It will require some custom uh, modifications and things to get it to fit with your exhaust, unless of course you already have the Fast Intentions X-Pipe. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. In the next one, I will begin working on the clutch install for the Z, so you can subscribe if you want to follow that. Stay tuned for more on this build, including a supercharger install in February, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later.